Hey there, I'm JJ Yosh, and this is Simon, also known as Backpacking Kitty, and welcome to episode three. This is the Simon and JJ show where we tell you everything you want to know about cats. Since we live in the backcountry, I can't just let Simon outside by himself, and that's why we started hiking with a leash. So today we're going to show you how to train your cat, how to hike with a leash, and you're gonna wanna check this out because if you're thinking about getting your cat, taking them outside, taking them on hikes, then this is gonna be a helpful episode for you. So the very first thing that we covered in our last episode was the right sort of harness. I know you wanna get down, I know you do. And this harness here, which we got on Amazon, is perfect for Simon because he doesn't wiggle out of it. it works perfectly with this body and we're going to just show you once we put the leash on how it works with him. You ready to try it? Okay. I'm going to let him down here because he is ready to roll. Come on. So I'm going to show you guys a little demonstration here. I got my backpack and I got this leash. Now I didn't show you this leash last time but we actually had this leash made for us and really, really sturdy. It's almost, it is a climbing rope. Uh, you definitely don't, don't need something this, this strong um, because, I mean, it's a cat. It's not like you have a mountain lion that you're trying to, to hold on leash. Um, but why not? It looks cool. So I'm gonna clip him in there. I noticed that Simon does the best on actual trails. If you just kind of have the backcountry and there's no trails, I notice that Simon kind of just goes anywhere. So if you want to keep your cat moving on the same path you are, it's best to be on a really established trail. All right, I'm going to put my backpack on. In the previous episode, I mentioned that you want to keep kind of a loose grip and that's so the cat doesn't feel like they're being constrained because as we know cats like to do whatever they want to do and when they feel that they're being controlled or they're being held up they're just going to rebel and resist so i make sure that i have kind of a loose handle here so you can see that i'm i'm not yanking it you don't want to like yank because cats have a lot more fragile necks and that's why their harnesses are designed more for their body because you don't want to be like strangling your cat hairs. But sometimes I'll give him like a little tug if he's going a, a direction that I don't want him to go in, but not too hard. So I may do like a little tug like that. Just be like, hey, come on, come on over here. Just really slight tug. So we're gonna walk on this path over here. Can we go over here? And I normally kind of just, with cats, you want to suggest. I think that's the best way to put it. You want to make cats think that it was their idea to go a certain way. So I like to give Simon a lot of suggestions so that he'll kind of take the cue, but make it so that he's leading me. Can we go up here now? Let's go this way. Okay. And now he's leading me. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh. So I'm gonna give him a slight tug over here to let him know that the trail is over here. And if he doesn't respond with that, I'll do another one. Over here. Okay, I think he's getting the hint. He's seeing the trail. All right. And obviously cats are gonna go at their own pace. Of course, you know, if, you're, if you have somewhere to go, then maybe hiking with your cat isn't going to be the best thing for you because this is definitely going to take hiking with a cat definitely takes twice as long if you were taking a dog out okay not over here come on come on now if he absolutely doesn't get the clue that we need to go a certain way by my little tug which he is right now i can pick him up a little bit and just move him to the path so a lot of times i'll do that I'll, and, but he's moving right now, so we'll just keep going here. 
Come on. Come on. Sometimes if he's moving really slow like this, I'll kind of give him like a little pat on the butt here. Just to kind of tell him that, hey, we need to keep going. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But again, you want to be gentle. Cats do not like aggression. Um, now he's taking a little break here. Can we go? So again, what I'll do, I'll just put my hand underneath his belly here. Just kind of suggest him to move. Come on down. Let's go down. Maybe this way. Let's go this way. Come on. Now cats react to pretty much every noise, every sort of butterfly, lizard. That's just how they are. Now, if your cat is kind of like this, absolutely doesn't want to move, then that's when I execute my contingency plan, which is backpacking kitty. I call it my backpacking kitty operation. And that is where I pick them up and I put them on my back like this. And now he has nowhere to go but be on my back. So now we're gonna continue the hike. Of course I chose a really steep trail, but you know, when you're, when you're backpacking kitty, you can go on steep trails. Now, Simon, you wanna say anything to them? If Simon wants to come down, he'll let me know. Usually what he'll do is he'll start meowing or he will try to jump. Um, right now, he seems, he seems okay. He seems like he's okay right now on my back. How are you? You can see that Simon is quite alert right now and he's just thinking, he's scoping out the entire area. He's almost trying to find a way that he can jump down. I can, I can just see it, I can see it in his eyes. Okay, Simon is ready to get down, so I'm gonna let him. So what I'm gonna do, here he goes. I'm gonna give him a little tilt, bam! All right, now, Follow us back, cause look, he's leading me back. Where are we going? Hey, where are we going? Where are we going? Now, sometimes I just let Simon go. I let him take me on an adventure. And this is kind of a cool little experience to kind of see what it's like to be a cat. So we're gonna follow him just a little bit here. Where are we going? Come on. Come on, where are we going? Now, if you've gone too far off course, what you can do is pick up your cat ever so gently and take him back to the trail. Here we go. And now he's taking me back to camp. Guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to send them to the comments below. Our next episode next week will be about what you guys choose. So put it down in the comments. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe right there. And make sure to share, like, and comment on all our videos. And if you haven't followed us yet on Instagram, do so, instagram.com slash jjyosh or Backpacking Kitty. Well guys, this has been an exciting episode. Simon, I know you wanna have fun now, so I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let Simon adventure, but you guys have a great rest of the week. See you later.